All right, boys, starting this one off outside for a change. Very rare occasion, I don't think I've ever done this, actually. Um, just have to feed little guinea pig. 100 pounds for anyone in the comments that can guess his name. <laughs> There is genuinely no chance any of you guess his name. This little boy Keith. Yeah, Keith the guinea pig. What a name. Um, so, literally got out of bed this morning, straight downstairs. I was already said it in a voiceover or something. Um, straight into an ab workout just because we really wanted to get it done. I felt motivated when I work up, which isn't always, to be honest. You don't know how it is in the mornings. And yeah, got it done. Um, and breakfast. I'm going to sit down and do a thumbnail for last episode and then, um, yeah, I'm just going to do this thumbnail and I'll see you in a bit. So yeah, um, as I said in the last clip, you might have been a bit confused by it, but as soon as me and little Cookie got up, straight downstairs for an ab workout, you know, get it done early doors, you don't have to stress about it, getting it done later on, and you can just enjoy your day a lot more. So we're out on the run, we're doing fight leg training and we're absolutely dead. So I've been in one minute, a full just straight jogging, average medium pace, just jogging. Straight into 15 seconds, high intensity sprint, quick as I could go, and then 30 seconds of walking. So I've done that 10 times. And what that was just my 10th rep I've done now. I'm absolutely dead. And on the way home, I'm just gonna see how many more I can fit in. I can probably fit in one. Maybe two, but I'll show you all the details of the run and all that once I get home, but I'm absolutely dead, boys. All right, so we're now home. We finished the run for today. Um, as I said a minute ago, we did 10 reps of it. So I've explained it, but I'll explain it again in case you couldn't hear me because my deep breath of the wind. Um, one minute, straight jogging, medium intensity. Um, straight into a 15 second sprint, no rest in between. And then as soon as you finish that, a 30 second walk to recover. And you're gonna repeat that again 10 times. Um, I was only gonna do it 10, but then I still had a distance, like I wasn't home yet. So I did an extra one. So I ended up doing 11 and a half because I got the sprint done and then I was home. So yeah, um, did 11 and a half of them. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty worked, obviously. Um, it's not like a long run, so you're not going to be completely dead, but the sprints, trust me, they get it out of you, they tire you. Um, I think altogether, it was a nine minute kilometre pace, obviously, 30 second walking, um, and all that brings it down. 
Um, the sprints would bring it up by, but marginally since it's only 15 seconds. And um, did 1.1 miles total distance throughout the whole run. So not too far, but briefly as a footballer, yes, you do need to be able to run a lot for 90 minutes. But it's a lot more fart leg type stuff. Why I, I normally do fart leg running, I suggest you not do it because it's more relevant to our game. It's just as simple as that. We're always cutting, turning directions, doing different movements. Sprinting one second, oh, cut back. Now we're walking back. Oh, now they're on the counter, jog, sprint back. We're always changing, we're always doing different things. That's why it's best to implement those things into your training. And ultimately, that's the best way you're going to improve. So yeah, we've just finished the jog for today. All we've done at our workout, it's two things. I'm gonna get some food and then relax for a little bit with my mates. Uh, might edit a video, might play some Xbox, I'm not too sure. And then do a workout later on. So yeah, I'll see you soon. So one thing I forgot to mention in that little clip was before I started the fartlek training, I did just a couple minutes of walking and jogging. Um, obviously it's very important to warm up. You don't wanna just go into jogging and then a straight sprint and like immediately walking out your door very dangerous as a footballer or an athlete you could seriously injure yourself and ultimately you just don't want to be sidelined for such a, a silly issue that you've done so yeah i just wanted to butt in and say that's why i, I was out there for quite a long time Guys, um, we've just got back from a dog walk. I forgot I had to do that literally straight after my run. Got in, got a um, little cookie all ready, and took him out for a walk with my sister today. Um, we're back now, about 30 minutes later, and we've just made lunch. We're only having something small for now. We're we'll gonna have a bigger meal later on. Um, it's them corn rasher things, and I'm just about to make a, another protein, well, my first protein shake of the day. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna play a bit of Xbox with my mates for a little bit, just relax and eat this, and then we'll do a workout in a bit. It is getting towards the evening, getting a little bit darker. We're here with the main man, Cookster, and we are ready for a back session. Um, as I said, if we want to laugh at the back workout, I'm not too sure there's that many exercises you can do at home or just with dumbbells, so it's not gonna be too intense, but you need to do something, um, well, I always say, it, work with what you've got. Um, so you can always do something, no matter what. So I'm gonna do some stuff with dumbbells, resistance band, and some body weight. So yeah, hope you enjoy the workout, hope you can use it uh, for yourself, and yeah.
On this one, you'll notice how I'm going especially slow on both the way up and the way down. This is because my back has always been one of my weaker parts, so basically going slower will allow for a bigger contraction within the muscle. The longer you take to reach the peak of the movement, the more beneficial it will be, and that's basically the same for when releasing the tension on your muscle when you go back down. You'll also notice I'm not going all the way to the top of the movement or the bottom, and again, this is for time under tension, which basically, when you're at either end of the movement, it's when your muscle finds it easiest and most relaxed to do. Like, go and hold a weight with your arm fully extended and it'll be just fine, but then if you do half a bicep curl and hold it there, you'll start to notice the burn. So basically, not going all the way up or down means I'm getting a bigger and better contraction to improve my muscle hypertrophy, which will hopefully manage to make me stronger and stronger each session. Jay, up, run it back. One thing to note for this workout as well, if you are trying to follow along at home, is in between each, um, not in between the superseted exercises, so not in between the dumbbell rows or the pull aparts, but after that and in between other exercises and um, sets, I was taking quite a lot of rest, like from two to even four minutes of rest at a time, just because I really didn't want to train muscular endurance, I was really just trying to train pure strength and build up in this session. Jay, I've run it back. unhappy that workout it was actually quite good um very short but what can you know what, mate what bloody are you doing <laughs> you having like some mad moment or something uh, yeah um obviously not too long because i have too much to do but but good my back is 
feeling it, I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it is feeling it, especially those last ones, the pull-aparts and the standing up pull-apart ones, there where you really feel it, boys. Um, if you don't have a resistance band, what I would do is use like a bath towel or um, any sort of towel like this bigger. Um, that's what I used to use before I nabbed my sister's resistance band. Um, especially for the ones on the floor because it's so easy to do. Might be a bit harder to stand up and stretch it apart because you might actually rip the towel. The ones on the floor, you could probably even, oh, I was going to say you get with a tea towel, but you can try it, but don't hold me responsible if I break your mum's tea towels. Um, yeah, so we're going to have another little protein shake and get all showered up and I'll see you at dinner. So at this point, you might be a bit confused why it's the end of the video. I've just said I'll see you at dinner, but um, basically I found out some very sad news in my personal life um, on this day. So I wasn't really feeling like recording anything else, I'm not going to lie. I did get all showered up, I had a protein shake, I honestly can't remember what I had for dinner though. Um, and yeah, I just didn't feel like recording for the rest of the day, so I just kind of signed it off and left it as that. Um, but yeah, um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 100, 100 subscribers as soon as possible. It would be honestly so sick. Um, and yeah, any feedback or support in the comments, uh, again, much appreciated. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I was in the trap circle, can't even the same fence. Granted, she was standing right there while I keep playing on the brick. I made them good niggas go hate when I tell them, man, in this bitch.